the uh, CEO of Soldier On. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody today uh, on what is um, a very solemn day uh, in the Australian calendar, Anzac Day. Uh, I hope that um, I hope that uh, you got out there on your driveway this morning and uh, uh, and commemorating commemorated Anzac Day. It's a little bit different from going to the War Memorial uh, or uh, to uh, or marching. Um, not that the marching would have started yet, but um, certainly uh, something different. You know, Australia became a nation um, with the federation of our states in 1901. Uh, those states truly became united when we shed blood together on the sands and cliffs of Gallipoli and on the battlefields of Fromelles, Poziers and villas Bretonnere. Again, in World War II, in Tobruk, places like Tobruk, Kokoda, uh, and in many other theatres like Korea, Vietnam and Malaya. Now, that proud continues tradition has continued with our wonderful contemporary veterans who serve and continue to serve in Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, East Timor, uh, Solomon Islands, uh, in peacekeeping and humanitarian missions. More recently, uh, our brave men and women served in the ADF, uh, which included reservists. So the first time the uh, Governor General uh, called out uh, reservists, it was the first uh, uh, during the bushfires, uh, and now indeed again uh, for COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, it's a pandemic that has kept us physically apart, um, but uh, ironically even more connected via, via the commemorative service, which I hope uh, you've had an opportunity uh, to watch. Uh, and if not, uh, the good thing is it's uh, available on demand from our website, soldieron.org.au. Uh, so, um, you know, I encourage you to watch it. It's it's deeply deeply moving. Um, really like to thank um, Sharon Sloan and Jane Farrell from my team who uh, put that together. Um, it was a pretty amazing effort. We absolutely honour those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in war, and those who continue to carry the scars uh, of their service today. Soldier On enables veterans and their families to thrive. We are here for veterans and their families today and we'll be here for you tomorrow, uh, lest we forget. I'd like to uh, welcome all of you that have uh, joined us uh, for our live discussion. It's going to be pretty casual I and mean, we don't want this to be uh, the standard sort of formal affair that you have in a commemorative service. Um, we want it to be pretty casual. Also, I'd like to welcome those who uh, are watching this on demand uh, later on. And I'd just like to uh, introduce some amazing guests that we have uh, for you today. They're uh, um, people who have served uh, our country as veterans. Um, and, um, and also we've got a very special guest as well, which, um, which uh, hopefully the technology is working and it's, and it's all good. Um, but look, I'd like to introduce uh, our guests. We've got uh, John Hargrave, who... Uh, has served um, in the Solomon Islands, um, Timor Leste, uh, and Afghanistan. I can see there's uh, some proud medals there on your chest, mate. A little bit more than the the, the one I've got. So <laughs> that's pretty uh, pretty impressive uh, services there, mate. It's obviously nice and sunny up there in Queensland as well. Uh, so welcome, John, um, to the to the chat. Um, yeah, I'm not actually hearing the audio, so hopefully others are. Um, so I might just check that. But we've also got uh, Ben Farinazzo, um, David Savage. Um, and so Ben, uh, can you say something there? Ben, I want to see if I've got my audio happening. G'day, Ivan, John, David. Good to see you guys. Hello, everyone out there. Fantastic. And, and Dave Savage. Uh, both Ben and, and, and Dave are just uh, amazing uh, ambassadors of Soldier On, so uh, fantastic having you guys uh, on board. And uh, pretty impressive set of medals there for, for you, Dave, as well. And uh, where are your medals, Ben? I can't see any. you got the Soldier On badge. <laughs> no, that's it, mate. <laughs> fantastic. Um, and um, we've also got uh, Jeremy Satchel, who's going to be joining us. Uh, and go, okay, Jeremy. How are you? Morning, everyone. Fantastic. Just keep checking the audio. 
And uh, just checking your uh, audio as well, John. Can you just have a just say a few words? See if we've got your audio now. No, nah, we're not. We're not getting your audio, John. So we might just. Uh... Yeah, Ben White. Huh? <laughs> and um, and uh, I think uh, I think we'll get uh, well, John just to sort out his audio. But um, while he's doing that, we'll. Uh, have a bit of a chat and we've um, hopefully we've got a, a special guest joining us a, a little bit later as well so um, when Jane uh, indicates to me that um, he's available we'll announce that as well so maybe um, I might just sort of start um, with maybe yourself Ben um, so look I assume or you find gentlemen are out, uh, out in the front driveway this morning or on the Randa, so how did you find uh, this morning's uh, service a little bit different from being up at the War Memorial? Yeah, different experience, but really actually enjoyed seeing that service online. Um, the the War Memorial service followed by the Soldier On service. I was doing pretty well, but it was pretty primed by uh, Shannon's uh, rendition of I Was Only 19, then listening to Adrian, uh, Sarah, uh, Peter Cosgrove, and, you know, I... I was doing pretty well until I Am Australian played at the end and I was like, ah, you got me. Um, I think after that, though, it was the messages that I started reading online and seeing from veterans around the country that was really moving. Um, it's wonderful to see so many people connected with the, uh, the spirit of Anzac Day. Um, and I'm very grateful that Soldron was able to pull something together um, in light of the fact that we couldn't be standing shoulder to shoulder at the memorial. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was a different experience, but I guess, you know, one of the positives of that is, um, you know, it really gave us the opportunity to reflect um, on your service and and those who are not with us anymore and, and those who are, you know, carrying scars. Um, it, certainly, um, it certainly was different, but I think it was a little bit more reflective. Yeah, I... Um found the comments made by the Governor-General really pertinent, particularly when he talked about unearthing certain emotions on Anzac Day, and I think that's what happens, is, is it brings up a range of emotions, many that I don't particularly want to, want to deal with or talk about, um, but they are there, uh, yeah. and they connect you in spirit with so many people around the country. Um, past, present, and even thinking about the, the the kids that will, you know, take up the the spirit of uh, service and continue doing what we do as Australians to protect and defend our national interests. Um, we're bound together by service, and I think this Anzac Day was a really good reminder of that and a great way to connect online with everybody. Yeah, absolutely, thanks for that, Ben. And uh, just checking your audio there, John, have we, we got you now? Can you hear me and can... Is anybody else hearing John or is it just me not hearing John? No, I can't hear him. Uh, yeah, well, this, I think you need to, you'll have to do a mine, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'll join us in a sec when we've got um, that, we've got to love technology. Um, might um, switch over to yourself, Dave, and um, that was a, a great interview there on Sky News. Um, well done. You've got that beard happening now, I can see. Um, so yeah. how are you? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm good. And, yeah, that was, it, was, it was great to have the opportunity um, yesterday to, to share some thoughts about, about Anzac Day and... Um, yeah, look, I, I've um, I've been you know fortunate over the years to have um, you know had Anzac Day on deployments um, in in places like East Timor and Bougainville and and in in um, other other places in the Commonwealth War Graves in in Sri Lanka and um, in Burma and but this was a really um, unique. Um, experience and and as as my wife said afterwards you know there's a lot of people who for emotion or other you know reasons that, that don't go to the large um gatherings 
that, that this may even, you know, suit them in in the future going forward to 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 um, you know, to commemorate in their own way in their own um, space. And uh, you know, it, one of the things that I liked about it was, you know, after the ceremony, was chatting to to the neighbours afterwards that you normally might just wave your hand at and say good day, but we actually, you know. Stood and and, and 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 talked about thirty minutes afterwards, and, and so, so it's it's actually even though we're in isolation, this this initiative has been so so successful in actually connecting us with with people around us. So uh, hats off, you know, to the people who who put it together. Brilliant. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's um. It's interesting. I was, when um, I was chatting with our chairman Peter Lay, uh, the former chief of army, um, he said to me, "This is the first time Soldier Honours put that commemorative service together, and indeed, I'm sure the first time we've done a live feed like this as well." And he said to me, "You know what, Ivan? This is going to be really good for those people that can't make it to, to an Anzac Day march, or, or getting together, or, or sitting in a in a nursing home, or." invalided for whatever reason or incapacitated. So I think that that's certainly going to be a big plus. I mean, I, I think the key thing is that we need to make sure that um, we do this again, that it's not just under this COVID-19 environment because the danger is we just go back to the previous methodology and exclude those who would not normally be able to, to, to join us. Um, yeah. so I, think, I think that's pretty key. Um, Hey, John, have we got your audio now? Let's... I, I think hopefully we're back on. So there we go. We're away. <laughs> Going back to the good old trusty uh, hardwired stuff. So. Must, must be a Queensland thing, mate. <laughs> oh, well, you know, at least it's 23 degrees and sunny. <laughs> oh, that's mean. It's certainly sunny. It was probably bright and sunny at 6 o'clock in the morning up there too. <laughs> was it, it was, and it was really good because you'd actually see all the people that were out in their driveways as you were discussing. Um, mm. it, it was, for me, it was a very humbling experience as well. Uh, I was very lucky to have a, a Delta Company 6R Vietnam veteran on the driveway with me this morning mm. um, from, from where I am, so I had another veteran that I could share that experience with. Um, we both commented how good it was to see the average Australian out in their driveway when they didn't have to be. Um, yep passing on that Anzac spirit. Yeah, no, it was pretty amazing. Um, I looked across and there was a number of candles, uh, a number of people uh, out front, which was just uh, amazing. Um, and I live in a suburb, which is pretty, uh, the houses are pretty far apart. So it was, um, um, I think it would have been amazing if you lived in an area where there was a bit more, you know, proximity with your, with your neighbours too. I think that would, would have been fantastic. Um, I had my iPad up there, uh, watching the warm oil uh, service and the candle and um, I finally got my, uh, my my son and wife out as well so they were out with me. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, getting dressed up in a suit's always a bit strange early in the morning but um, it's certainly a, an amazing thing um, for for today and we've got a, a, a comment up there from Marlene thank you uh, thank you Marlene for that for that comment we've got a whole bunch of uh, comments coming through as well. So thank you uh, to all those people watching and and just reflecting um, on, on that service uh, this morning. So I might cross over to yourself, Jeremy, and um, perhaps just some words from yourself. You've got a, a, a lovely background there. Um, you obviously prepared that nicely uh, for today. Thank you. Um, so how did you find that um, this morning from where you came from? Uh, I'm down here in Adelaide, and like the other gentlemen have said, it's great to see the community spirit get behind this initiative and, you know, seeing some of your neighbours that you, you never, ever cross paths with uh, other than pulling out of the driveway and giving a cursory nod to mm. out there. And um, we, we actually went to Coles yesterday and bought some Anzac biscuits and uh, shared them around the neighbourhood as well, and, and that was a, a great icebreaker. Um, and, and had the service on the on the boombox, making sure everyone was out of bed and, and could hear it as well. So um, yeah. a, a, a great initiative from, from the local community was a, a local bugler actually went down to the tram stop um, mm. and, and served as a point of reference for everyone to gather, uh, obviously adhering to social distancing. Um, 
but you know, as everyone else says, it, it's a it's a great uh, way to commemorate in these uncertain times and going forward. Uh, we we need to embrace uh, different ways to ensure the ANZAC spirit lives on. Thanks, Jeremy, and uh, a welcome from Adelaide. And we're we're um, very proud to have you as a as a soldier on ambassador. And and thank you. Uh, to all you gentlemen for your uh, wonderful service uh, to our to our country. Um, so, Jeremy, what, so what did, what does Anzac Day normally mean to you? And and did you sort of feel it was a bit different from from normal, or they still sort of feeling the same for you? Or? Uh, it's a bit different. Um, it's good to have the family together, uh, mm. and, and there's probably a little bit more focus. Uh, for myself in, in terms of being able to reflect uh, and participate in events like these. Um, I'm still a reservist, so there, there was a good chance I would have been marching with the regiment uh, through the city of Adelaide. Um, and, and then our, our footy club was actually playing a, an Anzac Day match. Um, and and that, that obviously isn't gonna happen. Uh, but we, we still got our Guernseys made up, our, our unique Anzac Day Guernseys. Um, and I'll put one up on the Soldier On website later on. Um, and all of our, our guys will be wearing them proudly today and getting uh, in the spirit of all things Anzac. So I think it, it brings some focus to the day. And, and as you said before, Ivan, we're not doing the same old thing. Um, and, and, you know, the technology is a great way to catch up with your mates and you know stay connected. Yeah, so are you guys um, trying to connect with your you know, colleagues and ex-servicemen virtually today, or is it you know by the phone, or what, you guys got plans today to try to connect with your with your colleagues? It's already happening. Yeah, it's been going since about five thirty this morning. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, look, we, yeah, we, we've got a, a scheduled call uh, with a lot of my friends uh, that we all sort of get together with on Anzac Day uh, via an online streaming app uh, mid-afternoon. We'll all get together and we'll all have a chat and a beer virtually. Um, yeah, it's happening. As, as Ben said, people are already on it. It's already happening. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I, I started getting um, messages from, from about 5.30, so... Um, yeah, look, it's it's so good. And one of the things that um, I noticed checking Facebook before I came on here was how many, the, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the guys I serve with have got young families now and um, seeing them out there, you know, photo, posting photos of them with their young families, um, but from babies, right, you know, to, to, you know, toddlers and things who would, would never have been able to manage get, getting them to a service. Um, so, so yeah, Facebook and um, yeah, uh, online the same as uh, as the others. But yeah, it's already started. It's great. It's really good. Yeah, that's good. So that's not something you would normally do on a you know a day like today. You you, you wouldn't sort of connect that way, would you? It's it's more a, no. a COVID nineteen type connection thing, is it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, and um, it's 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 interesting because no one no one was. Uh, shy about uh, sending messages so early, which normally you <laughs> probably think, uh, will, "Will they be going or not?" So you wouldn't send something. But, but it's it seems such a universal thing that everyone was sort of the the background is is, is participating, and everyone just sort of expected everyone to be up. So that's a positive thing. Hey, uh, John, you've got some beautiful lorikeet sounds uh, happening there in the background. It's, it's well, <laughs> makes everyone want to stay up in Queensland. Sorry, not, not, not to boast, but if you can look over my shoulder, you can see the beach there as well. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hard life, mate. Well, you know, <laughs> come for this benefits, Queensland. Look, if, if the lorikeets are too loud, I can move inside as well. But uh, no. look, I thought no, everyone else would... The club is in the background as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get away from them, unfortunately. Yeah, I liked it better when John could. We couldn't hear John and yeah. him brave thing about his beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to rub it in. Yeah. Well, no, what you're saying, is um, I think this linked into something that Dave and Jeremy said earlier was often when I would go to an Anzac Day parade, I or ceremony, I 
find it quite challenging to really connect with the people around me. I'm kind of in my own space, my own zone. Um, do it all, what I do. Might go to the pub later on and connect with a few people, but I find it really hard at a, a, a further level of engagement, whereas the ability to engage online in this way and see the comments has actually been quite therapeutic and allowed me to reconnect with a range of people around the country in a way that I haven't experienced before on Anzac Day. So that's been a quite a unique experience. Yeah, no, um, yeah we'll, we'll get to, to some comments. So I wouldn't mind maybe just uh, talking a little bit about Soldier On. Um, Obviously, um, see our soldier on, and, and, and for those listening that aren't fully aware, we uh, are watching. Um, yeah, soldier on enables veterans and their families to thrive. Um, we use the HELP acronym uh, HELP, uh, H is for health and well being, E for employment, L for learning, and P for participation. So, so what soldier on is all about is is um, providing preventative measures uh, in terms of getting a job, um, getting an education, uh, recognising that prior learning, uh, social connection, which has obviously been quite challenging lately with, um, with COVID-19 issues now. So, you know, we like to give, us, you know, give a hug and handshake and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I know you do, Ben, uh, which I'm missing. <laughs> Um, and um, and from a health and well-being perspective, you know, things like yoga, nutrition, our March On campaign, which is all about fitness, and of course uh, the psychological services that we provide for those um, who are, you know carrying scars from their service and and, and PTSD and, and that sort of thing. So um, you know we um, you know Anzac Day is a very important day uh, for Soldier On, um, and hopefully um, we can sort of continue this sort of virtual. Uh, commemorative service. So have you all um, watched the commemorative service? Have you had an opportunity uh, to, to watch it yet? Yep. Loved it. Yeah. Yep. So um, so if you haven't uh, had a chance to watch it, so the best way to do it is to go to uh, the Soldier On. So after this uh, chat session that we're having, um, going to uh, soldieron.org.au um, it, it features uh, some words there from the Governor General, uh, from our wonderful Chairman Peter Lay, who's the, the former Chief of Army. Um, it has a number of uh, um, comments and, and um, reflections from uh, Soldier On uh, Service and Ambassadors. Uh, and uh, what's amazing is. Um, and this is a special guest that we've got here uh, this morning that we're about to uh, say good day to, and that is uh, Shannon Noel, who, uh, who recorded uh, a new cover version of Zoning 19. So welcome, Shannon. I'll see if we can uh, get you into the into the chat. Oh, boss James working on that, <laughs> the technology. Um, so, but, yeah, Shannon... Um, Shannon uh, has re-recorded um, the Red Gun classic, I Was Only 19. Uh, and it's a very different version from the other versions. And I, and I think one of the things I really like about uh, this uh, this new version uh, is, you know, Soldier On is all about looking after our contemporary veterans. Uh, and, I, and I think um, the new version of uh, I Was Only 19 by Shannon uh, is... Uh, a contemporary version, and and it sort of does give a modern, uh, modern take on it, and uh, the, hopefully the technology, um, the, the technology will let. Uh, uh, he, he's joined in, but he's not on camera. Is that I think is the comment? Is that, can we hear Shannon? I think while we're waiting for him, just um, been really pleased to see Shannon come on board as an ambassador. He's done a great job in getting the message out around the country and he is truly connected with uh, the veteran community. Um, massive shout out also to Charlie Kizard and the guys at Throttle Media for pulling this together and the website and for 
uh, fostering that relationship also with you know, Shannon. So thank you, Charlie, and to all the team at Solid Media. Um, I think Shannon's involvement is, is terrific and uh, really genuine. It's, it's great to have him on board. Yeah, no, I, I, I did that really well, Ben. I mean, he's definitely super genuine. Um, James is saying he's just got no sound, so he's going to join us, I promise. Um, but, um, yeah, so Shannon and I are, are actually doing a, an interview on the Today Show on Channel 9 at uh, at 9.50 today, so that'll be um, that'll go across the nation. Um, so I, I'm sort of hoping that... Um, you know, this sort of, you know, helps Shannon too in the sense of, you know, it's pretty tough for a musician and artist right now because uh, Shannon had a whole bunch of gigs that were that were scheduled to happen and, and they're not happening. And and when you think about their livelihood, I mean, they, they rely upon money from those live gigs. So, you know, I think uh, all of us should do our best to try to, to help out all musicians uh, and, you know, Shannon, see if we can somehow help out uh, in that uh, environment, so yeah. So if you if you've got you know not watching anything else, I think it's nine fifty is when we're going to be on the Today Show. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Mm. Yeah. So um, so you know maybe just reflecting on the Soldier On side of things, um, Ben. I think you know, you've said to me that you know, Soldier On's made a pretty big um, difference for you. Um, yeah. Can you maybe just sort of um, let uh, our viewers, what know about you know what what does soldier on mean to you and how we help? Oh, uh, back to that. Here we are. Hey, hey Noel. Good G'day, guys. How you going? <laughs> yeah, mate. That's good. We might come back to that question then, but um, you're welcome, mate. And it's good to see. Uh, I watched your live stream last night with um, you know, from your from your lounge room there. That was uh, fantastic. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Yeah, oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, she was a bit of a uh, yeah. The technological part of it's uh, always a, a bit of a worry. We're still trying to work out the bugs, but it's a bit of fun anyway. Yeah, no, you're here. We're, you're with us. Thanks, thanks. And we're, and we're just saying that um, you and I will be on the Today Show a little bit later this morning. Uh, 10, yeah, mate. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, how are you? Thank you so much for that uh, new rendition of I Was Only Nineteen. It's just amazing. So, so what? What inspired you to do the, do that, Shannon? Mate, it's it's quite funny because we actually used to do that uh, that version of of, of that uh, of that song like twenty eight years ago in the cover band uh, back when I was we used to play pubs around Forbes and and Condo and things like that and then uh, we just sort of had it had it up our sleeve all this time and then just thought after meeting Charlie and then coming on board as a as an ambassador we decided to. Um, to pull it out and, and uh, rejuvenate it. So, um, yeah, it was just, it was just um, the right time to do it before. And, and, yeah, so it was great to actually get it out. I think it's, it's taking along pretty well, so it's good. Fantastic. Yeah, look, we, we're joined this morning uh, with John, Ben, and Dave, and Jeremy, who are, are all uh, serving uh, you know, ambassadors and, and, and served our country and, and have um, served overseas as well. So... Uh, this is this yeah. is what it's all about, mate. And um, you supporting uh, veterans and their families just means so much um, to Soldier On and to veterans. And, and we really, really appreciate you coming on board as an ambassador and, and supporting us. It's it's really important. Oh no, I appreciate it, guys. I think it's uh, it's a fantastic thing that you, that uh, Soldier On does. So um, uh, the least I can do, uh, I think, is is um, show my support. Yeah, I was just commenting before that it's you know it's really hard for for musicians now. I mean, like with COVID nineteen, there's you know I'm not talking to Charlie. You were saying that you had a whole bunch of forward gigs that you had planned that you had to that you've had to cancel. So um, it really yeah. affects the, the livelihood uh, for all musicians around the country. I was seeing some stats saying that um, you know this is just amounted to millions and millions of dollars of. Uh, I couldn't believe how many live gigs there are in the country. I mean, the, the, yeah. the, it's huge. So what sort yeah, of impact mate. has that had on you, mate? Yeah, no, I, my, I lost... What have you been So am I missing audio? Is everyone missing audio? Yeah, missing audio there. Yeah, we just, um, we just lost you a bit there, Shannon, and we got you back now. 
Yeah, no, I think we've um, we've lost a bit of audio. There. I think uh, where are you in the Shire there, Shannon? <laughs> Prime Minister's electorate. So um, it's, um, <laughs> I think you can hear me. <laughs> hasn't, the other clock, the NBN hasn't made it to the Shire yet. So um, <laughs> but, yeah, we'll, we'll get um, we'll get that audio uh, back in a sec. But while we're just waiting on, on that, Ben, I was just, we were just asking before about, you know, how that, um, you know, how Soldier Ons, um, you know, helped you. Mm. Initially, when I came on uh, as a uh, board director before then moving off the board and becoming an ambassador, it helped me to reach out to a number of my mates that weren't doing so well. Um, as we moved forward, I was then in a position where I got diagnosed with PTSD and uh, had to go to hospital. It was during that period that Soldron actually helped me get into a hospital. Um, which actually saved my life. I'm very grateful for that. And when I got out of hospital, Soldron gave me a connection and kept in contact with me and my family throughout. And for that, I'm, I'm really appreciative. Um, it's given me purpose to reconnect with others, to be able to share my story so that others that might find themselves in a similar position can learn from what I've been through and hopefully avoid going through the same challenges and experiences. Um, it's an evolving organisation. There's always more that we can do. There's always people out there in the background uh, who need our help um, and others who are yet to realise that they need our help. Um, and um, and soldier on evolution will continue to help meet those needs and you know i'm glad to be part of that and help out in any way I can. yeah just talking about that evolution you know one of the things that are coming on board is that um uh, that soldier on uh in uh in partnership with the federal government uh and the sydney local health district will be opening a fossil house uh, at concord hospital in sydney uh, and and Fussell House is a facility uh, that has um, a twenty um, like the se twenty separate rooms um, where uh, veterans, um, of course, Concord's a magnificent um, you know, repatriation um, hospital. It's its heritage, um, and we'll be able to provide uh, medical treatment uh, at Concord Hospital and and then serve as an outpatient. Uh, facility, so we apparently, you know, the demand's really up there. Uh, we were planning on having that open around June, July this year, but with COVID nineteen, looks like it's going to be pushed back a bit. Um, but I'm I'm pretty excited about that facility uh, and how it's going to be able to assist veterans um, seeking treatment uh, and from an outpatient perspective. So uh, watch this space. I think that will really help. I think Shannon Millie came back on uh, and. Uh, he, um, uh, uh, it looks like his uh, device is disconnected and we'll have him back uh, in a sec and just tell him to unmute himself. Um, so um, maybe just from yourself, Dave, you know, is there any uh, anything else that you'd sort of like to add in terms of today and and Soldier On and um, has it, how's it helped you, Soldier On? And Looks... Um, <clears throat> Someone's been an enormous support um, for, for for my wife and, and for my wife and I and um, our, our kids. I when I was wounded, um, and so almost the same time as Soldier on um, was created, and uh, they reached out to me, which we were so incredibly grateful for because um, being my position, even though I was embedded with the military, I wasn't actually. Um, a soldier, um, so I didn't have the the sort of established support um, networks that um, that uh, the military have. But um, so a soldier reached out to me, supported um, myself, my family, but also probably the most one of the most important thing was connected us with people who were going through the same, 
individuals but families that were going through the same thing. So to you know to share experiences and to understand that what you're going through is um, you know you've got people around there to understand and having because you know it, it, it is a difficult thing to understand if you haven't um, dealt with people with PTSD or things that um, that you know it's a, a very challenging um, uh, you know injury to have and um, you know you need people that are going to hang in there because you know you, you, you tend to want to isolate yourself and not participate in things and um, some people don't understand and take offense to it so they sort of um, step back whilst you know one of the things that I found the, the my military friendships and and um, soldier on is that people, people understand so they're patient and um, keep reaching out to you and keep trying to engage with you and um, and that that's just had an, an enormous um, positive effect on not just myself but my, my family as well and and um, you know and we've made some incredibly you know strong friendships um, and which I'm sure will be enduring friendships um, you know with people like Ben and his wife and Gary Wilson and uh, yeah so it's just been been a, all, all around a very positive thing. That's fantastic and thanks one you know thanks for your service and thanks um, for being such fabulous uh, soldier on ambassadors so uh, look, one of the things I'd like to do is just to encourage uh, we, we're receiving live comments from those uh, who are listening in so there's a lot of thank yous uh, thank you for your service um, Thank you to who have served and are still serving. Thank you for what you do. Lots of love hearts. Um, uh, and uh, you know, Ben, you are strong. Thank you for sharing your story. There's you know, lots of really nice um, live comments. But you know, we'd sort of love to, if there's any questions there um, from uh, from our audience uh, today, we'd sort of like to pitch it either to, uh, to, to our ambassadors uh, or, to, uh, uh, or, or to yourself. Um, Shannon, so so don't be um, don't be shy. Uh, let me um, ask some questions. Uh, so, John, um, what, what a soldier on you know, mean to you? I mean, you're obviously uh, you know very involved um, uh, with soldier on, and um, you were scheduled to to do the walk up at Kokoda uh, as part of March on, which uh, obviously got canned thanks to the lovely COVID nineteen yep. pandemic. Um, so, so what does Soldier On mean to you, mate? Look, I, I'm very lucky that I get to sit, uh, I guess, as, as an employee of Soldier On, and I get to see that the difference it makes in people's lives uh, every day uh, when I'm interacting with the wider veteran community or the people that are coming to us for support. I mean, through our you know, holistic support services that we provide, you now I've seen people walk in our door uh, unemployed, uh, almost about to be kicked out of their homes is with their relationships falling apart uh, into gainful and meaningful employment. You know, the connection with the, the family and the community rebuilt. And as we say, absolutely being able to thrive again uh, as what they were when they left the military. I mean, as people know, in the military, you're working with a sense of purpose and, and you've really got a, a clear mission goal and you're proud of who you are. But I mean, that can be stripped away very quickly and uh, the fact that we're there to help, and I see it every day. Uh, it just the amount of the amount of people it's made a massive difference to. I, I think can't be underestimated, and that really encourages me to get out of bed every day and get to work. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely, and it's uh, hopefully we'll do that. Um, uh, Kokoda track. Um, I'm, I um, I wanted to do it this year, but I was a little bit too fat. And I've been working hard. No, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll be on the track together next year. You need on. <laughs> I think 2021, I've, I've lost 10 kilos, so I've got a bit more to go. So um, I'm hoping that by 2021, I'll be able to join you uh, on that track. Um, I can't wait. So, <laughs> so we've got a question there. What, what can people do today to help show their support for contemporary veterans and their families? Anyone want to have a go at that one? You're on mute there, Jeremy. I think, you know, it's all about getting involved. Um, you know, don't don't hide inside, get outside, talk to your neighbours, um, as well as just spending a little bit of time by yourself reflecting on uh, those that have served our nation. Uh, that, that's the most important. 
uh, piece is marking the day um, and, and taking that time out to do that. Mm. Absolutely. Um, and um, Shannon, um, just looking at some questions here. So, you know, what does what does Anzac Day mean for you, mate? I mean, obviously you got on board with your I was only nineteen concert. What what does Anzac Day mean for you, Shannon? I think you're still on mute there, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still not hearing it. I think you maybe you're suffering from the same issues that I have. I think. <laughs> yeah, you got to, um, this technology is fantastic and bringing us together, but sometimes it, uh, um, it can be a bit challenging. So we can we can come back to that. Um, I think you to raise an interesting point though regarding the the family. One thing that I've seen really emerge over the last uh, five years or so is an awareness and understanding of the impact of service on families. And that is really important to understand because they are, in many cases, the backbone behind our ability to continue serving uh, our country, both in uniform and out of uniform. Um, there's been a lot of awareness created around that and there is a lot of support still needed for those family members who stand in the background, many of whom are carers and support our veterans uh, in ways that you can't you can't underestimate. Um, when a member joins a service and serves for their country, it is not just the individual, but their whole family joins and the whole family commits to that lifestyle. Um, without second thought. And it has an impact on showing up at birthdays, um, other events. Um, only this week I was listening to someone say uh, how their child had said, oh, is daddy going to be here for my birthday this year? He hasn't been around. He's been on five different deployments. And this yep. will be the first time that he's actually been home for a birthday. Yeah. Um, so, you know, in in saying that, there's a lot of people out there doing great things to create that awareness. Um, Gwen Cherney, Renee Wilson, massive shout out to you guys, uh, Connie, and all all those people out in the background that are helping to create that awareness and show their support for their families. Because without those families, many of us would be unable to serve. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's very important that in the uh, Soldier On vision, it's enabling veterans and their families to thrive. It's, it's not just veterans, it's very much uh, uh, and their families as well. So we got you back there, Shannon. <laughs> I, I still, no, still no. Uh, he's, he's a good looking fella. So that, that's. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and we love your voice, man. You know, that's that, that's that cool. So I'm, I will, I'm sure we'll get back to that um, again, which is always a fun part of these um, live feeds. Look, one of the questions that came up was, um, you know, why why do we wear rosemary on Anzac Day? Who's going to have a go at answering that one? Look, there's a lot of – there's a range of um, – range of facts and the like that are available on the War Memorial website um, that particularly go out to kids around the country. Um, the rosemary, oh, I don't think I'll be able to answer, answer that with any, uh, with any, um, what can you say, uh, with a professional response. Yeah, yeah um, I, I believe rosemary is supposed to improve memory. Is, is part of the reason behind it. So the idea is that the, the rosemary uh, is a, a, a figure of, of memory and being able to continue to remember. That's one of the, uh, and, and the ones that get around. As Ben said, there, there's uh, plenty of facts there. There's also various, uh, various reasons as to how it's become uh, associated with Anzac Day and there's 
two that, that I've heard uh, in recent times, and one is that it was found growing on the Gallipoli Peninsula. Uh, and second was that uh, a wounded soldier uh, that, that was repatriated back here to South Australia was carrying uh, a, a small bouquet of rosemary and then it was planted in the grounds at Keswick Barracks here in uh, Adelaide. Um, and, and if you're ever on Keswick Barracks, you'll see that there's plenty of rosemary around. So there, there's two, um, you know, there, there's cool. probably of other reasons as well. Yeah, the, uh, I know we're talking to Justin Wilbur, who uh, was behind the Aussies and Kiwis for Anzacs, and, and really he, he was behind that whole idea of the driveway at dawn movement. Amassed, um, it's amassed 250,000 followers, and, and uh, all the proceeds that they're raising there are, are going towards um, Soldier On, uh, which, which is just amazing. Um, we're so thankful to Justin and, and, and his team. You're saying there's a huge debate online as to whether we, one should use rosemary or or poppies, <laughs> and then just, apparently they had to shut the conversation down at the end. But but my understanding also is that rosemary uh, is used as a symbol of remembrance. Yes. Uh, as well, so that's um, that's obviously clear. We got you now, Shannon. Oh, I think so, mate. Can you hear me now? I was going to say. <laughs> I reckon the fact that we've uh, had to wait so long with you to hear your voice is going to be able to sing a song or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, mate, got, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to agree with you. <laughs> you got your guitar handy <laughs> to get you to sing. Um, I was only 19. Oh, yeah, or, was just over there. <laughs> or, or a few, we'll, get, we'll have to get you to sing a few verses of oh, I was only 19 to close out maybe. Um, yeah, so what I was yeah. saying... So what I was saying before, Shannon, was um, now what, what does Anzac yeah. Day mean for you, mate? Mate, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's just an opportunity to uh, to pay respect and and, and acknowledge uh, the sacrifice that that um, so many have made. Um, mm. My wife had a few family members who uh, we. My pa had had uh, a lot of medals and things like that, so um, it was just so great. When I remember as a young kid to. To walk and march with him, you know, um, uh, when he when we he was still with us. So I think you know the biggest thing is is to remember and acknowledge the sacrifice that that uh, a lot of people made for our freedoms um, and our way of life. Uh, without that, uh, you know, without that sacrifice. Mm. Oh, I just just as we're going to get, uh, am I lost audio? Are you guys lost audio as well? Yeah. <laughs> You got, it in there, you got it in there. <laughs> I was going to say, we got him to say a few words, but I really wanted Shannon to, to sing I Was Only 19. So do you reckon we should no. still have another go, Shannon, to see if we can get the audio back? Or? Because we're not singing. <laughs> right, you got with the fishing line going, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I'm pretty keen to, to, to listen to the song as well, but um, that, that is available uh, online. He's actually released it as a as a single on Spotify and, and a number of different platforms. So we should um, <clears throat> we should support that as well, and and hopefully we can get him back just uh, to to close things off. Um, but yeah, look, um, you know, I think um, you know, Jeremy you was spot on as well with that um, explanation uh, as well. So is there any, uh, just having a look at what other questions, uh, there's a lots of thank yous for your service. Uh, it's a very different morning. Um, Travelling outside is sometimes difficult for me, but I made sure I was on my balcony before sunrise today. So I think it was just amazing how many people were out today. Um, uh, and there are a lot of comments about the inclusive nature today. Um, isolation, no isolation, the Anzac spirit will never die, not in my household anyway, lest we forget. Proud of all your servicemen and women, from Andrew Van de Ven, thank you, Andrew. Um, Brendan Adams, Delta Company 6, RAR, wow, I'll be watching Danger Close today. So uh, have, you, have you seen that movie? Mm. Hey, have we got audio, Shannon? I think we have, mate, haven't we? Oh, yeah. right. Tell me we have. 
So <laughs> I, I, reckon, I reckon we should sort of close this out or, or, or towards the end of it by um, listening to your rendition while we've still got your audio, Shannon. So you reckon you yeah, can give, I know. Us a, give us a bit of a go of uh, I was only 19. Yeah, of course. No worries. I'm in dead and dead. So I'm passing out the right at the back of the tunnel. There's a long march in Canada. The six foot turn, never makes the turn. What the mayor drew the cap. We just get younger. The young one in the phone, yeah. And down the line of football, and I'm standing in the game. His cribbing from the pipe up, shout out, sang his song and train. And he danced me, must have tapped, with the new sound drain. Got a man, I was a little bit. How's that? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks, guys. That was fantastic. And look, we're just absolutely uh, delighted, Shannon, to have you as an ambassador um really appreciate that and, and, and great to uh hear your views on anzac day and it's certainly a, a very different one and uh from everyone here at, um it is uh, yeah so from everyone here from uh soldier on we just like to reach out to all our veterans and their families i know it's going to be a bit of a tough day make sure you uh reach out to your to your colleagues uh and family and, and friends and Let's try to, to make this a real special day. If you haven't had a, a chance to, to watch our commemorative service, it's uh, uh, encourage you as well, Shannon. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch it. You're, you're, you're featured on it with your with your song. Um, <laughs> yeah, no worries. Fantastic. So it's um, if, just you. go to the we just go to the website soldieron.org.au. Is there any other you know, final words from any of you guys before we uh, sign out today? Well, thanks. Look, reach, reach out to your mates. <laughs> yeah, reach out to your mate. <laughs> yeah, uh, sounds good. Yeah, look, I, I just think, um, you know, it's important to, to, you know, look after yourself, look after your family, be in contact with your mates, some, especially some that may, may not um, reach out to you, but reach out to them because they might be doing it a bit tough. But, um, yeah, look, it's just a... Um, the, 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 what an amazing day this has turned out to be when it could have been so so um, so much the opposite so and and thank you everybody who's who's got together to make it a special day for for those who've served and their families in the wider community thank you That's a very nice Jeremy anything else you wanted to say before we closed out or John yeah. just encourage everyone to, to to thank a veteran where you can uh thank their families as well because as uh ben said earlier they're often the ones that uh give up far more than what we do um and and be sure to pop a pop a cap off a beer and uh raise a glass to the anzacs no worries and shannon anything last for yourself mate yeah no mate just uh yeah everyone take a moment and, and and remember we think that uh, all the sacrifice that's been made by obviously families as well as uh, as uh, ex servicemen and women. So, yeah, I think. Fantastic. Well, thank you, um, gentlemen, for, for joining us uh, today. Uh, we also did try to get a female <laughs> to join us. It wasn't supposed to be just a male dominated thing. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, that'll have to be the next time. But I encourage everyone uh, listening. Thank you to the general public. Thank you to veterans uh, for listening in yeah. this morning. I think there'll be a lot of people that'll be watching this uh, post the live uh, event as well. Um, we're getting lots and lots of views of our commemorative service, I'm told. So, so soldieron.org.au, uh, going out there in the country. Um, I'll be talking, speaking with you a bit later, Shannon, on the Today Show. So we'll okay, we'll I'll be no uh, together. <laughs> but uh, thank you uh, to everyone. Uh, there's also 105 songs for 105 years, which will be through the Aussies sure. and Kiwis for Anzacs this afternoon. So uh, the more relaxed part, there will be no um, two up, it looks like. And I think you did a bit of two up there at home, I heard, Shannon. So, <laughs> <with the kids>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, mate, it might be it might be the only only win I get for the last few years too. <laughs> Anyways, well, thank you, everyone, and uh, thanks, uh, everybody, for, for tuning in this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, thanks again. Thank you. Cheers. Have Take a care. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Have a good day, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Where are you? Come here.